So I was sent an interesting video by this dude, Hoon Gon Gang Gang Nin. I was close, probably. It's about his thoughts of gambling and CSGO and loot boxes and all that jazz and all the third party gambling sites or skin trading sites and all that stuff. That whole ecosystem that's built around CSGO that Valve doesn't directly support. But nevertheless, what this video is about is this dude saying like, I've been making content about CSGO for so, so many years and all this time I've rejected offers of insane amounts of money to advertise all this gambling or to advertise loot boxes or, or, or whatever, all these skin trading sites and stuff because he has, he thinks that it's ethically wrong. And this video is him saying, after all these years of turning down all that money, what has ultimately changed? And the answer is nothing. I took part in zero activities that were linked to gambling. And today, I have the feeling that the only thing I have accomplished by doing so is... Absolutely nothing. He personally has lost endless amounts of money while skin trading, gambling, loot boxes are thriving economy still. Some big teams even have such enterprises as sponsors. And so he gets to the end and he's like, why did I bother doing all this? And he's like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like I have a family. My career is not going to be here forever. I'm probably going to advertise this stuff in the future. Not because I think it's okay, but because I've got a family to look after, to care for, and my career isn't going to be fair. I've just got to worry about myself now. But in today's age, I just don't see the point in refusing these deals anymore. I have turned 30. It is time to think about my family and myself and stop fighting against the wind. And now I want to take the easy way out for once. And watching this, I was like, not only is this sad, this is somewhat how I feel about reaction content, where I am confident that those who do reaction content know it's bad and it's wrong, but they just don't care. And given, as I say, the benefits that you gain from making such content so easily, so rapidly, the people who lose out the most is those who don't make the content. So if you have a moral stance against it, all you're gonna do is ultimately suffer and nothing will really change. Sure, the minuscule amount of damage you personally would do would not be there, but in the grand scheme of things, it's meaningless. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, yeah. When I look at reaction content now, I think to myself, I should have just shut the fuck up and got my back. Sure, I would have harmed people indirectly, invisibly. They would never know. No one would have thought less of me of it. I think that, and I'm like, man, having those thoughts makes you a bad person, right? Those are the thoughts that a selfish asshole would have, right? But you can't help but have them sometimes. I'm sure that every single person who fought for what was right in the entire history of mankind has at least some point gone, man, why am I doing this? Is it worth it? Is it worth the backlash? You know how many people post this on my Twitter? Heartbreaking, the worst person you know just made a great point. The worst person they know. All because I think reactors are terrible people for scamming and stealing things for themselves that they don't deserve. For manipulating the market, for exclusively their benefit. I don't understand how people can be so deluded to see these mega Goliath content creators ripping reaction videos at the speed of sound and thinking, man, these guys are humanitarians. Thinking of the little guy as if uber rich people aren't doing things specifically for their own benefit. All reaction content does is increase the amount of time that people spend watching reaction content and decrease the amount of time that people spend on everything else. That's it. And that's the goal. But for saying that, I am to some people the worst person conceivable. The worst person they know. Thing is, no one is forcing their viewers to watch their content. Algorithms are. At least they may as well be. When I say this, I mean the viewers are not being presented literally every single piece of content on the fucking planet and then deciding which ones they want to watch. Instead, the algorithm is guiding different viewers towards different types of content and statistically some amount is going to click that content, even if they would have clicked something else had the algorithm decided to promote that content instead. You wouldn't necessarily have more views if you were a reactor? Oh, of course I would. It's effortless videos of exceptional high quality that I couldn't necessarily create myself. I mean, the meta, if you want to call it that, is just to have an extra channel where whenever you've got a free hour, just grab a popular video, watch it, and then upload it. If it gets two views, who cares? Because you've expended no effort to make the video. And the video will be a high quality one because the original video was a high quality one as well. On YouTube, when you make a video normally, you've got to think of an idea, spend the time, the energy, and you can only make a finite amount of videos. So every video matters. Because if it doesn't do well, it's like, oh shit, I've lost all that time and energy and effort. And I won't necessarily have a good idea tomorrow, right? But with the action content, 
There's no effort. You aren't thinking of an idea. It can be spammed out nonstop. As long as someone else is working, someone else has a good idea, you've got limitless content. And so of course I would have more views if I did reaction content. But back to this video, I feel this dude's pain. That it seems as though in this world, fighting for what is right brings you nothing but pain and suffering. And you never see the fruits of such a fight. That bad people ultimately have an advantage and traditionally seem to win out. But not everyone can do this because you have to have some charisma because people want to see good reactions. That's absolutely 110% not true. How I'm amazingly naive. I'm not going to bring out my records. I can show you literally countless videos of people starting their careers in reactions and just spamming them out nonstop, 10, 15 a day. And you grow from it because people don't need an amazing over the top charismatic person doing reactions in the same way that Jinx, once upon a time, literally sat there watching a video silently, silently for the entire stretch and gave their opinions afterwards and was still very successful. It's the experience of watching it with someone else that people want. There are videos right now with Asmongold where he says literally nothing. And the video has like 400,000 views. Because hey, here I am watching something with the person that I like. Oh, and, and because presented with the algorithm, people are just like, I'm curious what this is. So they click it. And you got to watch for a couple of minutes to know what the hell is going on. And then it propagates. It is truly effortless. And because it's effortless, it has no cost to create. XQC can literally say nothing and make no expressions during reaction. There are literal videos where XQC is not in the room that have 100,000 views. Media. He focused on growing his Instagram and TikTok following by reposting clips of the content he made with Muhammad. These clips would make the round. Comes back at the end with some cereal. 100,000 views. People just click on it for curiosity. You're latching onto something that's already popular that the algorithm has drawn connections between. The more well-known you are, the more beneficial reaction content is for you, which is why reaction content benefits those who are already successful and rich, obviously. But it benefits people at every level. I feel this holds true in so many parts of life, that doing the morally right thing gives you nothing in return. I guess you have to keep in mind the greater good, even if the situation seemingly doesn't improve. I think it would often worsen if less people cared. That's true, Terps. But it's worse when you don't see the positive benefits, but you feel negative personal ramifications. I have to experience the animosity of people who do not understand, especially those who are trying to help, and it's painful. I have convictions, I think that's good, but who knows how long they'll last, man. Everyone has a breaking point, but unlike this dude, I don't need more money. I don't need more success. I don't have a family. I feel for this dude, but for me personally, the only reason I would buckle and give in to the, the temptation to rob people blind and make myself more successful is what for ego or just wanting to be bigger as a creator or something. Worse for me though, is there is stuff that I consider to be okay, or at least on the borderline of what is acceptable, that I also can't do. Because I know disingenuous people will be like, um, isn't this reaction content? In full sincerity, saying that. Like I make response videos. And I get people saying, isn't this reaction content? I look at a tutorial on stream. People say, isn't this reaction content? Like if I wanted to say, react to the world record of GTA 5, a run that I've personally been involved in its development for the last 10 years. Even if I did it with the person who did the run, people would still give me shit for that. Because by holding a stance on something, it invites people to judge what you're doing in relation to that stance. If you put forth no concrete stance on a topic, you can do whatever the fuck you want, whenever you want. And no one will bat an eye. Being principled, fighting for what is right, is so hard to do. And with every passing day, someone falls off the wagon. And there's one less person fighting for what is right. And ultimately, we all suffer for that, but we suffer invisibly. World sucks. So we ended here. Thank you for watching and joining me on my new channel. I wish you all the best.